this part is the uh, water liking part hydrophilic part and this part is water not liking part hydrophobic part it is scared of water it really does not like it. Now let us say so pay attention here this is a very important concept this is not in the first uh, chapter of physiology books very important concept. Let us say we have a molecule which is hydrophilic when this molecule come across these hydrophilic molecules this molecule can arrange itself amongst them easily but it cannot proceed any further in the hydrophobic portions because this lipid portion not only does not like water it actually does not like anything which likes water. So, it is not friends with waters and it does not like waters friends either. So, this little thing it wants to go out it says well I have less water here I want to go out and there is a lot of water. But these hydrophobic things here the lipids here they are not going to let it move they are going to push it back. Similarly, if there are any hydrophilic molecules outside the cell which will come and let us say interact here they can arrange themselves on the outer side, but they cannot easily move inside because they have to cross this hydrophobic barrier as well. End result they will put themselves on the outer side. So, how do I see this it is it is funny how I see it is this way see the surface. So, I will just go and make another thing let us say you are looking at the surface of river or ocean or water or a lake inside we have fish right. So, these are happy fish they are having fun outside we have let us say birds. So, I hope you have seen this bird before in your life if not you just saw a fun bird. So, here is a bird right the birds are on the outside the fish are on the inside normally fish come to the surface, but stay on the inside and birds come to the surface, but stay on the outside. I know that you know there are many exceptions, but for our concept well I am making a really weird bird, but anyways that is a bird it is a bird <laughs> ok. So, we have fish on the inside and we have bird on the outside fish do not come out birds do not go down. In case of our cells the proteins which stay on the inside there is a special protein called flippase there is a protein called flippase some people call it with one p or some with the two p's anyways proteins name is flippase, what that does is it binds these proteins on the inner side to the inside. So, it holds on to the proteins which are or the molecules which are on the inner side of the cell membrane to the inside. Now, flippase needs batteries to work. So, flippase does not do it for free it says well I will do this function I will stand here on the inner side of the membrane and I will hold on to these proteins and I would do, do it by spending energy. So, flippase molecule or flippase protein uses batteries you know what are our batteries of our body what are our cells dura cells the batteries we use ATP ATP is our, our batteries right. So, flippase sits here uses ATP and keeps the things on the inner side holds on to them. This is called asymmetry asymmetry means non symmetry or, or lack of symmetry this is called asymmetry across the lipid bilayer very important concept this is called asymmetry across the lipid bilayer. What that means is in simple terms the lipids or the cell membrane on the outer side has different proteins on it than on the inside. This asymmetry 
is also an indicator and a must for a healthy cell. It is just like this, you, you have a house, right? So, the things which are inside the house, your oven inside the house is inside the house, your books inside the house are inside the house, right? So, you spend energy to keep them in there, I hope so. On the other hand, there are things which are on the outside, a tree is growing outside the house. All of a sudden, if the oven walks out or if you threw the books out, I hope you do not throw the books out, I really love books, so do not throw books out. But if you threw the books out, if this fish came on the outer side and it is found here, maybe a dead fish, it is found here or if you find a bird here inside, okay, now I am challenged again to draw this fun bird, here it is, ah, very good, drew another bird. So, the bird found inside, the fish found outside, that would tell you that there is some abnormality happening, right? right? So, whenever a protein which is supposed to stay in and flippase is using energy to keep it in, finally turns on the outer side. So, let us say this protein which was supposed to be in is found out here, it is too big. So, let us make this way. So, this is that protein, this protein got moved out. This is that fish which was here, this fish got it appeared on the outside. What does that mean? That means the cell is not healthy, why not? Think about it logically. The battery was used to hold on to this protein on the inside, somehow that protein which was doing that function has failed. Maybe there is less energy, it does not have batteries to do that function. Maybe the flippase itself is damaged now, it cannot do that. So, whatever is the reason, finally the protein which is supposed to be inside has appeared on the outer side. So, now pay attention here, we have proved that in, a, in an unhealthy or we have observed that in an unhealthy cell, there are less MHC 1 on its outer surface, pay attention. Number two, there are things which can appear on the outer surface which should not appear on the surface of a healthy cell. These things are going to be picked up, these are signs of a ill cell. They are going to be picked up by the natural killer, they are going to be picked up by the monocytes, they are going to be picked up by the neutrophils. These guys are looking for these signs. And once they find them, they're going, this cell is then going to be in trouble. So, there are multiple various ways. For example, you know that when MHC finds less MHC1, sorry, when natural killer finds less MHC1, it would send perforins and granzymes and defensines and kill that cell. We will talk more about it. We have not yet talked about natural killer cell. So, this is just the preliminary contextual information we have discussed in our previous lectures. Here, our main thing we are going to talk about today is the neutrophil, but I am trying to create some context to, to understand how neutrophil functions and how body works and how is body defended by the neutrophil. So, again very important thing, keep the flippase in mind, keep the unhealthy cell signs in mind and there are tons of other signs which are for the unhealthy cells. These signs can be picked up and then body can react to it and defend itself. For example, remember we talked about in our last lectures, mica appears on the tumor cells, right. So, that is also a sign A natural killer cell is very good in feeling those micas and it can kill the tumor cells, it is doing that right now. Okay. So, back here, so I said that there is another cell which is really very important, that is the that is the treasure which we are trying to defend, that is our cells, our normal body cells. So, the cells which are now we are working with to try to understand what they do. So, bone marrow house, bone marrow cells, right. So, stem cells over there, what are the stem cells? Stem cells are the cells which can produce other cells, other types and they can produce themselves. So, what we say about the stem